Welcome back to Earth 2050. When Mother Nature dumps a few feet of snow on some major cities, it creates a whole host of problems for government officials. Digging out takes time, heavy equipment, and a lot of money. But for these high school students, a blizzard presents a different kind of problem, a math problem with all sorts of potential answers. We're trying to figure out how much money should be allotted to each city in order to manage the amount of um, snowfall they experience annually. Why are they trying to come up with solutions for a tough problem like managing urban snowfall? Because traditional sports aren't the only place where high school students like to compete. Welcome to Moody's Mega Math Challenge, or the M3. M3 Challenge is a high school math competition for juniors and seniors. And it's really neat because it's an opportunity for these students to bring forward what they're learning in the classroom, in their calculus classes and algebra classes, and actually apply it to a real life problem. Yes, this is about using math to solve problems, but the other key word here is applied. This is a lot more than a typical academic exercise using our mathematics skills to um, apply to our daily problems, like the snow moving, like this is very like a daily problem, right? So we are using our like math, like talent or math, like skills to really like help the society and governance. So that's really cool, I think. The Society of Industrial and Applied Mathematics, which organizes the M3, thinks it's pretty cool too. They're all about making sure today's students in the US can compete with their counterparts around the world. We pretty much exist to create co cooperation between applied math and the fields of science and technology. Teachers and students say a math challenge like the M3 is where math education needs to go as we approach the year 2050. It could be the future of learning because you would use this in real life compared to learning about the Pythagorean theorem. I mean, this is, you could use this for figuring out tons of things like budgets, especially like what we're doing now for like a multitude of things. Applied math is definitely the future of education because the curriculum that we're currently working on was designed many, 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 many years ago. A lot of things have changed. One of those things is access to more information than the parents of these kids could only dream about. Grab a computer and all sorts of data, usable data, is at their fingertips in seconds. We had Excel sheets for um, years from like, I believe like 1862 to like 2016. So we did have a lot of information to start off with. 10 or 20 years ago, it might take days to get that kind of information. So these kids have a lot of data to work with, but not much time. For this qualifying round, they have three hours. For the national competition, which involves nearly 5,000 students, they have 14 hours to come up with a solution to a completely different problem. I think students learn the most by using what they learn in the classroom and apply in a real life situation. The top six teams travel to New York City, where judges award more than $150,000 in scholarships. The money is provided by the Moody's Foundation, the philanthropic arm of the Moody's Corporation. As for the students, using teams to create solutions and having fun doing it is great preparation for future careers in math and science. <laughs>